It's week one of the NFL, and if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Dolphins and the Chargers, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. Southern California has a new modern home for NFL football, and it is this place, Wondrous SoFi Stadium here at Inglewood. Today, it's the opener of the 2023 NFL season, as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the L.A. Chargers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, the SCD. New season is here. Lions and Chiefs got it going on Thursday night. You and I were there. What a scene that was. But now here we are a few days later on Sunday looking at two teams with great expectations here to begin 20 the Dolphins offense ready to go here in the Sunday night opener to this new season and the one to watch is going to be this man their rookie running back He's been entrusted with a heavy workload for a rookie, but he appears to be ready for the challenge. I got to watch him play a few times last year in person. I got to watch him on film. Saw him in the postseason All-Star games. Yeah, they're putting a lot on this young guy, but I think he's more than up to the task. He could be special. They defer to Brown to start the drive. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 in a first down. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game, and I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that. With that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercise before this one, and they're paying off. Now a run on first down is not going to get off the ground as they will get him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of three. So their task a little bit more difficult now, second and 13 that they're walking up on. Looking to pass to him. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, such a great week one matchup here. The Dolphins and Chargers. And fairly or unfairly, these two QBs are going to be measured against one another, probably for the rest of their careers. Remember, Tua was the number five overall pick in 2020, and Justin Herbert followed him at number six. And let's add on to it because Joe Burrow got number one overall. He's at Cincinnati to one Super Bowl appearance. Jordan Love, also a first-rounder, getting his opportunity in 2023. And Jalen Hurts was a second-rounder with Philadelphia, and he's made it to the Super Bowl. So all in all, quite a class. Kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I wanted to have something different, and I really wanted the special teams coaches to be a little bit more involved. But I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety. Play action. Now it's Tua. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. How about that stuff? Shotgun handoff to Brown here. And he will take it in for the Dolphins touchdown. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from capturing the lead. And that's a nice reward right there. The first game with his new team, and he winds up in the end zone. They're expecting big things from him this season. And he delivers on day one. Throwing now is Chugga by Loa. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 77 yards. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. 
Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well because... There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. And they'll begin here with a run by Brown. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. 52 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Another run for Brown on second down. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Here's Tonga by Loa to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Got a man. It's Brown. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second down and four. And again, it's Tug of Iloa. It's complete to Brown, right side. So give him two yards there on the completion. And now that sets up third and two. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. He finds his man complete. That's Brown. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. That one too wide and incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Another run for Brown on second down. They juked him, and they're able to get this one across the 35. The Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. He's making quite a splash here in his NFL debut. Well, he was advertised as being NFL ready, and both you and I tend to arch an eyebrow a little bit when we first hear that, but I think that they were right about this one. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. He'll find his tight end, it's Adam Troutman. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays at that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye 
coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. 83 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Right back to Brown. And a solid run down inside the 30. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the gun, a give to Brown. And it fights through one man. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. touchdown so he had the nice run to get him down there was stopped just short of the goal line but they go right back to him cd and he delivers to finish the drive off a little extra determination there don't you think partner you notice he didn't tap on his helmet here's brown on second down and they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield that one good for 13 and a dolphin first down well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they turn to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. So not a lineman, but the tight end instead this time You're drawing right the holding call. And more and more what you're getting with tight ends are guys who are much more receiver than blocker. They may be willing, but that might not be their thing. Oftentimes, they'll be the ones getting the penalties. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Joey Bosa in on the stop. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them it's still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. He finds his man complete. That's Brown. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and have a one-on-one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. That's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield. After the catch, when they're running with the ball, they think they're going to win those, too. So look. Brown with a stick skills, and inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now a give left side, Brown with it. A good move. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's a give to Brown. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up the key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. 
Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one.